Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it doesn't sound like I do. Oh, um, let's see. Sounds like I'm to someone else. You're using Ada's account, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm just using his account to log into um, into the meeting since this gets recorded automatically. Yes. Um, I'm not sure uh, who else is joining. Um, I'm going to be like multi multitasking. I'll be here and there, uh, but we'll we'll give it a few more minutes. Um, to see who else joins. So this is uh, I'm going to struggle pronouncing your name. Sorry, okay, Lee. Yes. Yeah. 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 Perfectly. Is that okay. Sorry about the pronunciation. No, no, it's perfectly. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good to meet you. Uh, yeah, virtually. Yeah, good to. Uh, I'm not this uh, Tuesday, so um, I tried out to do the call Tuesday, um, and I think there is just not enough notice for everyone. Um, since this is a new thing, we're gonna start just to try to accommodate everyone else on different um, time zones. Yes. Um, okay, so so I'm glad I'm glad there's uh, I'm glad there's a need um, a need for it. Yeah, yeah I, I think I made sure one of the very early ones, which was like four in the morning my time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I contributed yeah. very much because like uh, me, it's usually seven thirty, uh, but that's usually like meal time and it's just yeah. not not a not a very good time. So I feel like. For those of us on um, like closer to CET time, then this is more more doable. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna pull up the progress here. Um, um, okay, so I don't know if we'll get all the team leads on here, um, but we'll we'll go with the we'll go with the people we have and get any updates we can from um, from us. Even if it's just us, us three, I think it's um, it's worth getting the getting the calls um, started, and then as people um, um, as more and more people um, learn about it, then we'll hopefully we'll get we'll get more traffic. Sure. All right, um, so I think we'll go ahead and get started then. Um, 
Do we, just from uh, a short introduction, I'm not sure which uh, team um, everyone is from. I am usually, I'm on communications, uh, particularly handling partnerships. Um, so I'll give some updates on that, but can everyone else um, just do a short introduction with their, which, which teams they're working on? So I don't think we have all the teams covered. So maybe we'll just do it that way for uh, today. Well, maybe I'll start it off, perhaps. Yeah, um, Mike Honey. I actually work across a few of the different teams. My speciality is data visualization. So I've been ha helping the um, different task teams, most of them, apart from Geo, I've been involved in. Uh, and uh, like the, one of the customers of the data sets team, so I've been bullying them or chiving them into um, producing more data. Um, so yeah, I sort of have like a coming at the end of the process and try and make the results look pretty through data visualization. Okay, any particular updates um, just from the different different uh, areas that you're, you're touching on? Um, well, I've got a new person join during the week uh, who's based in Europe, which is fantastic. Her name's uh, Imke Feldman. So she's just starting, so probably take a while for her to get up to speed. But she also um, works with the Power BI tool that we've been leaning on pretty heavily for data visualization. So uh, hopefully she can um, get up to speed and start contributing. We have more cover across different time zones and with different um, skills and specialities and so on. So that's great. Um, the other big one, I think big news that's dropped is um, the updates to the Cord 19 data set that just came out in the last 24 hours. So they've changed the structure again. There's more papers, there's um, tables for the first time with um, HTML tables of data that they've found in the papers. And at the same time, Kaggle have announced um, version, uh, sorry, round two of the data challenge with a new set of questions. So um, it's a lot of change uh, on the Kaggle front. If people aren't aware, you can um, scoot off and have a look uh, at the Kaggle site for some, some updates there. And um, Arthur has been all across it. He's posted a list of questions, which are really good. It's, um, it's kind of a little unfortunate that we're just like being told the shape, I guess, from Arthur's perspective, I can see what he's what he's trying to say there. We're just sort of being told, uh, this is what was what's required for for round two, and I guess that's probably pretty locked in for the next few weeks. Um, so we just have to go with that. that. But um, perhaps in a future round, we'll, we'll actually get to have some input on that, and um, I think that could be really really useful for everyone. Okay, any, um, any particular blockers? Do you need anything um, in terms of like human resources or such? Uh, for data visualization, we're mostly chasing data. So now that the data set's been updated, um, we need the data sets team to reprocess pretty much everything they've produced and, and all the task teams to reprocess everything they've produced. So obviously that's bit of a challenge for everyone. We have to kind of try and be patient and um, sit tight on that. But there's one part, piece of it that um, that's new that Arthur was asking me for. I don't know if anyone else has already tried or could jump in and have a go at that, which was to just extract the new HTML tables data um, and like make that visible. Because at the moment it's buried in thousands, literally thousands of um, JSON files for all the papers. Uh, so it's pretty hard to kind of get a high level view of what it actually is. So I don't know if anyone's, um, I haven't heard, but if uh, no one has a go at that, I guess I can have a go and try and um, make that visible for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd, be, that'd be great. Um, all right, let's see. Um, uh, just to clarify, I'm based in Australia, so it's already beyond the clock here, so. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's nice to see you, to be honest, Mike, because you're often at a time where no one can see you. Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, Tyler or anyone uh, wants to jump in next and give updates? We don't have, um, Tyler, you're just joining. We don't have um, all the team leads um, included in the call. So, we're just I mean, going to. We're, we're not having all the team leads on the evening one now these days. So, yeah. don't worry yeah. about it. Just cover what you can cover. Have you been working through the document? to fill things in or? Um, no, I've been like multitasking, um, doing other uh, things off the call as well. So um, for at least for today, I'm just gonna, since it's being recorded, I'm gonna go back. Um, on the yeah, it's not, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I, do, I, use, I use recordings as notes as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so any, do you wanna jump in and um, give some updates? Um, I had a really good call last night with Bianca, um, who's in Germany, who's going to, who's um, a solutions architect in Germany, and she's going to help with um, formulating some human resources processes regarding building skill trees. So then we can hopefully automate and understand the skills. So when people start looking for, I need these people, we can assign like, a more dynamic understanding of what the skills people need rather than just like the very manual process I'm going through at the moment to try and find useful people for use for the tasks that are needed. We need to work on a way of um, asking people to formulate their, their, their asks a little bit more clearly, but it's just going to be a constant process. We don't expect it to fix overnight. Um, the help needed channels helpful, but we need to try and make that a little bit more systemized so we can make a system for finding people with the skills better and then systemize the asking process for the people with skills better. And then hopefully the more systemized we can make both of them, the more automated we can make both processes. That's kind of the high level plan. How are we going to get to that? We're going to work it out. Um, we're going to probably be using Airtable to store a lot of information now rather than Google spreadsheets and that sort of stuff. So that's kind of, we had a bit of a, about an hour long call over discussing like, the problems I have to go with through to try and find people and the fact that some people don't put all their skills, they just put some of their skills across and you know, this sort of problem. And then this morning when I woke up, I was reading through the whole Kaggle thing and the new Kaggle updates. So I'm just, I'm literally just trying to catch up on that. It's like, <laughs> it's been an hour I've been awake for. So. Yeah. Um, 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 sorry, it sounds like you kind of added in um, some blockers there as well, but any other specific ones? Um, not, no specific blockers right now. Um, it's just work in progress. Doesn't, I don't really ever have blockers because blockers are things that I can't work out. And I've always, I'll always try and find some ways to work it out, even if it is just reaching out to people. Um, I don't generally note them down. Um, so no, no, no real blockers. It's just work in progress. And we're, we're, like anything with design we're trying to understand the problem before we try and design a solution to it because understanding the problem is the first step and it's one of them things that uh isn't because we work so fast the the formulating the ask is slow which is what Kaggle's struggling with the exact same thing that they're not very good at formulating what they're asking they're just asking a very vague thing and then we expecting people to work it out and then part way in make it more specific and wonder why people are going what <laughs> it's yeah it's formulating and researching the ask is the actually the hard one of the hardest processes in regards to developing things but it's it's ignored because making things feels like you're doing something but it's actually making the wrong thing is a massive waste of time and that's one of them things that we kind of balance between the agileness of making something useful that we think might be the right answer and actually doing the research to find out if it is the right question, the right questions for the right answers. But um, that's part of the reason why we've been doing research with um, various people, medical experts. Um, we've had conversations with Tayeb's team. We've got like, he's got like a hundred medical experts that are trying to come up with um, like a table format that'll be useful for everyone's display of information. And something that basically it'll be a, they'll be making a human version, or literally a manually made version, based on like a few hundred papers, 
and then that'll be the um, the measuring stick for the quality of our, our AI work in the sense that if we can process documents and data sets and make them look like their data sets from their manual tables, it means we'll have got very close to making the accuracy, the, you know, making pulling the information out of the tables and that sort of stuff. So this new table entry information will be interesting um, if how we can integrate them table them new tables that have been added into the uh, the data set versus our assumptions and our thoughts about it. I wouldn't be surprised if some of their tables are based on what Ty Ebb's work's doing because he's working directly with Cargill as well. Um, what else is going on? I don't know. There's so many things going on, but I'm not hands-on on most of it. Has anyone got any questions? Um, yeah, going back to the uh, agency or the person you said um, who is helping out with um, the onboarding uh, infrastructure, are they, uh, is this like a, a firm or like just an individual or how is It's that? just, it's Bianca. She's been a volunteer. She's been around for about a week, but um, she's trying to... She's a solutions architect in a day-to-day -day job. She works in an IT a tech company coming up with solutions. So she's, okay. she's, um, and the reason why we had a, a long call is because, um, part of it is, is because um, Andrea Kopp, Kropp started some process and started developing some skills, but then got busy and did other things like we all can do. Um, and it's a case of, some of the things that she built are useful, but they still involve a lot of manual process and we're trying to um, and we're trying to rebuild some of the things that she's made in Excel spreadsheets or like Google spreadsheets and use them in a more structured and organized way and hopefully a bit more accessible because pulling in and out of like Google Sheets is, is clunky compared to something like Airtable, which works more like a, a database spreadsheet system. And we've been given a, a year's premium on a, uh, professional on that so we should be able to use it hopefully but um it might require a little bit of a get used to it and getting familiar with it it's one of them things that we're gonna have to i'm gonna have to spend a bit of time with bianca trying to understand but she's used it before previously she's just not developed it before but it's fine we'll work it out um so yeah there's sort of the hr -y type stuff we're trying to streamline it because i do a hell of a lot of manual things you know i go through people's linkedin profiles and pull information out that i think is not worthy and make notes of it and and it's all them little things that if we can pull linkedin information directly into something or if we can automate that process or if we can even make it when people sign up as volunteers and i'm thinking of doing some sort of um survey type a question for the membership itself to see how involved they are, see if they've got any skills that they've not declared, this sort of stuff to try and fully collate what we've already got within the organization of the group and to try and better utilize what people are doing. You know, because this, this, I have no doubt there's a couple of hundred people sat around doing nothing, wanting to do something, but have no idea where to start and like identifying them people and finding out if we can make best use of them or if just a case of motivating them enough to have a bit of confidence to try and find something for themselves because it is the balancing act of like the, there's not enough people who can decide what other people can do especially because the amount of time it takes to work out what someone else can do the person who could do it could probably work out themselves it's that time intensive task of like i could sit around and read someone's linkedin and recommend that actually they seem to be able to fit fit within x team or x problem but um i'm only making assumptions based on what i can see and it's making it's getting people more confident to realize that turning up is really valuable and um they've got something to give even if they're not completely sure they can do it straight away because we, we um we celebrate learning just more than anything so turning up and trying to solve problems. Yeah, you might not solve it perfect first time, but starting solving a problem um, is more effective than, um, than waiting for someone else to start it and hoping someone does. So it's about like trying to recognize them people who are probably very skilled and very capable, but they're overwhelmed by the sheer size of all the different things going on and they can't find a problem that fits them. 
Okay, I am in touch with, I don't know if you remember, the communications and PR um, firm. Yeah, it's definitely, that, it's definitely something I want to work on, yeah. Um, okay, well, I've drafted a couple points, um, like internal and external things that they can um, help us out with. I'll share that with you and see um, if you can add, um, add to that. And then um, I'm hoping tomorrow I can um, send that out to them and get, get the ball rolling there. So I'll, I'll send that to you um, after the That's call. That's great, yeah. No problem. Uh, maybe we can get some help from them with that. Okay. Um, so next person, um, Fatima or Dimitri? Hello? Hello. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just... Dimitri. I can wait for the lady. Uh... Okay. I, <laughs> I, I, either one is, is fine. Uh, whoever's ready. Uh, you are welcome. Uh, I'm just uh, joining to the meeting. Um, I, I am in team with Jeremy in uh, Task uh, with uh, Danny. Um, uh, that's only uh, uh, I am um, now I am working for uh, uh, some uh, uh, some jobs in uh, bioinformatics. Uh, now we are uh, searching. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes, I can. I can hear you. You're a bit. Uh, you're quite low, but I can hear you. Oh, uh, uh, my sound is low. Yeah, you sound quite quite far um, on my end, but I can I can make out what you're saying. Um, uh, I'm Fatma. I'm working uh, with uh, Dano in Task PT, especially uh, with German uh, with uh, Jeremy team. Um, we are working in uh, protein to protein interaction, relation extraction, um, uh, yes, using intra uh, framework. Uh, now we uh, we try to uh, solve uh, some problem. Okay. Any specific updates uh, on the areas you're working on? Sorry. Um, any specific updates around the areas that you're working on? Uh, yes, uh, for me, uh, I am uh, uh, just the uh, first one to study uh, Indra framework. Uh, and uh, I, um, uh, I uh, uh, installed the, some tutorial uh, and uh, published it uh, in uh, TaskVT uh, GitHub uh, boss. Was then. Yeah. Okay, you cut off there um, a bit, but I'll, I'll pick it up when I go back to the recording. Um, are there any uh, blockers um, to follow up on? Uh, sorry, again? Um, I said you cut off um, a bit. Um, I couldn't hear the last thing you, you said, but any any specific blockers you want to bring up? No, thank you. No? All right, then. Um, then we'll move on to Dimitri. Um, yeah, hi. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Dimitri. I, um, so my... I, I don't know, you probably don't know me. I'm mostly following this project uh, for a while, uh, but uh, I ha haven't yet found the place to where I, I can contribute and I, I don't want to just jump in and overwhelm people. Uh, maybe you can help me. So, you, sound, you sound like a prime example of what I was talking about earlier. That's exactly, so. yeah, I am, I am one of the examples, exactly. So I, yeah, uh, I did all them and I was uh, looking around and it's a lot of things that I, I, I understand what's the project on about, about uh, retrieving papers and presenting some more uh, consumable way. And I'm a mathematician, my background. Uh, I'm also interested in uh, data and um, even on the high abstract uh, level, I developed some library for pipelines and compositional functional library in Node.js, but um, I, I, I see you do mostly in Python, but I know a little bit Python, but many principles can apply to Python. 
Uh, so uh, that's uh, what I what I did, and I can also work on the architecture and decouple different components, make them more independent so people can work different independently on different things. I can help with that. And even people using different programming language, they can coexist peacefully uh, if there is interest for that. But as I said, there are a lot of things I can do, but uh, I didn't want to push uh, into something that where people are already busy. Um, um, let me let me jump in here. So you sound like you're very capable, and you're actually worried about upsetting someone else or overriding someone else. Nothing gets overridden here, but um, I think it's, if it depends if you want to in, get be more involved in mathematics and data, or if you're more interested in architecture and management. Um, yeah, we're not bothered which side you land on. Uh, for for yeah, me, for it, me, they're both connected. So I'm um, I'm happy to look at that. It, I just found it hard to see actual problem. Uh -huh. Like someone someone posted, he he's my blocker or he's a problem that I need help. Yeah, the, 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 them sort of yeah, them sort of problems are um are often uh they're not often like clearly laid out like this is my problem right now. They are yeah. in places, but it, there's lots of places that are not, especially when it comes to like high level problems rather than like i have a little problem yeah. that you can solve right now lots of little I problems that i can solve right now normally get solved by someone going oh well i know somebody else who's good at this can they help me or i'll work it out myself there's a lot of that so waiting for someone to ask for a simple problem is not going to happen you have to kind of get into the weeds um so my advice is reach out to slava for the search engine data sets team it sounds like you'd probably be really useful in there with your like high level thinking and mathematical understanding and programming data science side of it. That's where I'd probably put you if I had a choice, but if you prefer, if you prefer to like just get into the weeds and just deal with like data processing. I mean, like I said, it depends how good your Python is. It depends if you can sort of, cause uh, everything's not pretty much everything. There's no JS. Much, but, uh, yeah, but pretty much everything's but, Python right now, but it depends if yeah. Node.js might be useful for the display, the display side of things, like how things are, I don't know if Node.js has been used for like well, the web I, side I, of things. I learned, I learned some Python and I, I can see it's not that different. Uh, I saw you have a, a post about we need more people involved in understanding income and processing. And uh, uh, I saw that at, I wasn't exactly sure what, what, I, what specifically I'm looking for and where to go and uh, what, what to say. That's fine. Um, like I said, um, I think Slava's probably the best bet. He's in Europe, so his time zone's not not too bad. Yeah, um, if you can reach out to me, and I'll link you up. Or if you, I'm cause... just struggling with my Zoom. Like, I, so for some reason, my video doesn't work, and I don't know what to do with that. It's a um, bit, it's a bit it's... annoying. Yeah, it's it's one of the things you might just not have it set up right. I mean, if you've got any technical problems, I can help you with that. But yeah. um, it, I'll I'll find you on Slack, and I'll see if I can link you up with some. <laughs> teams that you mean like you can work with search engine team and lucas who's in poland again good time zone for you i'm assuming your europe towards yeah. well right now i'm in thailand so it's uh all oh, right different. thailand completely yeah. worried and but at least the european time zones will work better than west coast <laughs> america yeah, does a bit behind but um, so I, I, yeah there's a there's definitely a th few things going on um and you might be able to be yeah, so I'll, I'll talk. I'll, we'll have a chat, and I'll see if I can help you out and direct you to somewhere that can be more useful and introduce you. Because being introduced is much more helpful than, than knocking on the door for some people. Yeah, yeah, I feel a bit like that. I didn't want to yeah. jump in when people are busy uh, with work and. It, yeah. Everyone's busy, but at the same time, the only way they're going to be less busy is introducing more people to help them. So it's in their best cool. interest to get help. So it's a balancing act. <laughs> Yeah. So. Well, awesome. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad you were able to join the call then and make this connection. Because, um, like Tyler is saying, there's um, usually people are just jumping in where where they can contribute. And uh, if you're waiting to like hear a specific call for where your um, particular skills can come in, that you might be waiting for forever. But that's not to say that your um, your talents aren't needed. It's just uh, like 
this isn't, uh, or it just, I don't know, it doesn't work that, um, that fluidly. Um, so you just kind of have to jump in there, but good that you'll be making this connection and hopefully um, you can get uh, set up with a team or across mm -hmm. different teams. If anyone can help me with the Zoom, I, maybe you can see my face because sometimes it works. It just doesn't work now. And I don't know, I can share my screen and uh, um, I don't know. Unless maybe you, you don't have the time, I don't want to. Um, uh, like I said, I could talk I could talk you through it. If we've got a little bit of time, I can we can have a look at that tech problem as well. But it's it's not a big deal. Yeah, I'll let um, I'll let you and Tyler get uh, get connected on that one since we're um, just about out of time and need to move on. Um, any specific right. questions? Um, anyone has? No questions? Okay, well, um, thanks for joining the call, guys. I'm, this was kind of trial and error for me. Um, so we'll definitely keep, um, keep this weekly. I don't know. Um, we have a sign-up sheet for different people to lead the, lead the calls um, on different days. Um, so I'll maybe share that somewhere. I don't know if everyone has access to that, but it'll be, it'll be great. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Uh, personally, I won't be available tomorrow to lead the call, uh, but definitely next week. Um, so I'll follow up um, with, uh, with a sign machine and hopefully we can get um, other people involved with leading the calls. Yeah, we don't necessarily we don't necessarily have to have it every day. I think it's one of them things that is nice, but yeah, yeah, that's what I'm also thinking. Yeah, yeah so it's a balance act. Hour twice twice a week. Um, it depends what if there's a demand for it. it. I mean, Mike's probably on at this sort of time, so he could, if he's if he's happy to leave this side of call at least once, that'd be cool. Because yeah. it'd be nice to see his face more because I see him doing stuff and I have no idea what because he's in <laughs> Australia and his time zone don't fit for the fact that I'm, I've been getting up late and staying up late because I've been dealing with American time zones rather than Australian ones because I can't do both. <laughs> yeah, give it a go. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Have a great rest of the day and we'll see you around Slack. Thanks, Ugly. All right, see ya. Thanks everyone, see you. Bye.